Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day and welcome to another interesting edition of the Wide Blood Panorama on your favorite channel, Wide Blood Multimedia. I'm your host, Umar Isa Dandogo. Well, my guest today got an opportunity to do his first and master's degrees in India, a country that many people from this, uh, from this part of the country are interested in, including me. Uh, well, we will find out in the course of the program. Munir Ali Munir studied business administration at lovely professional university in Punjab. He amazingly, within a short period of time, picked up the Hindi accent and he can understand a few other dialects from the country. He also traveled to as many places as possible, including Kashmir. Well, we'll find out whether or not he visited Pakistan. He now joins me in the studio to talk about his life, experiences and studies in what is now known as the Narendra Modi's India, inhabited by about 1.4 billion people. Well, Munir Ali Munir, popularly known as Abakati Atlandago, uh, <laughs> but Patoranki on social media. Yeah, Thank you very yeah. much indeed for coming Thank on the show. You. Thank you very much, my brother. Well, I don't know. We don't have to start with biography because you, uh, I believe you just tell me that you're a young person mm -hmm. um, who hasn't lived for a very long period of time. But anyway, let's just get started. <laughs> you studied in India. Uh, um why and how how did you get that opportunity did you get a scholarship from the then administration because i can remember it was in 2012 or 13 that you uh that you went to india right 13. at that time yeah. the the then government the Congress administration mm -hmm. was busy yeah, sending people to india and other countries did you join no, that no. gang no, no. or that band or that group no, no. but a lot of my friends got that opportunity to be among those people who had been sponsored by the government of that time. But mine was totally a different story. What is it? Because uh, mine is a kind of a story of failure and success, I can oh, say. Really? Because uh, I did my, like each and every year, I to and write for jam, and my scores are always above 200. Since that time when the jam was even so critical, I don't mm. think it is so easy like this time. Oh, really? But I used to score mm. 200 and above, like mm. above the color marks. Mm. But I'm having a deficiency in my secondary school certificate of uh, English. Oh, yeah. It's so unfortunate. Even my father was like, <laughs> he didn't thought that I'm going mm. to fail English. So, yeah. And I wrote it six times. Six times? Six times. Three mm. Neko, three mm. YX. Oh my God. So, but still, so in that process, I, I became like I was so depressed wow. that I can't move forward because each and every year I have to hold some kind of depression in my mind wow. till next year. And mm. if I write the exam and I feel I have to, you understand? So, on did that you process, feel like quitting because you said that you you are depressed? Did you feel quitting? I mean, quitting meaning uh, stop just going no, to school? I, I, I never quit because I all believe that when I quit is when I die. Okay, really? Yeah. So you have yeah. this strong yeah, yeah. We belief. Have, we have to continue the fight to we yeah. So this is where we are today. Mm -hmm. It is just a story. Yeah. So on that process, that is why I was just, my mother just decided, let's just uh, sponsor me out so I can go and study because mm -hmm. she believed that this is something which is from the Almighty mm -hmm. God. It's not that I'm dumb or I cannot mm -hmm. make it, you understand? So it is my destiny to be there. Mm -hmm. I guess even if I wrote it 100 times, I will not score. So because my destiny wasn't here. So I have to be there. You Then you are then your late mother, may Allah have mercy on her. I know she died yeah, uh, a few a few days after you came back, yeah, after you finished your yeah, master's yeah, degree. Yeah. Uh, may Allah have mercy on her soul. Um, she then sponsored your education to go to India. Yeah. So how come you went to India to study, but you didn't have a credit at least in your work? Um, no, I have so. I have eight passes and one uh, I have eight credit and one pass which is English, and the system of them like uh, giving admission to a student is not uh, the same system that okay. we adopt here. Mm -hmm. Listen, they have to check like overall, mm -hmm. overall of what you or like, of your passes or what you passed. Then they can give you. So they don't care whether you got a credit in English or mathematics or not. What they care most is which department are you going to study and mm. what, like for me, that I'm from the School of Business, mm. I passed my commerce, mm. what credit my commerce, my accounting, and my economics. Mm. So I think. So these are the most important that subjects. Most important. If you are a science student, you have to pass biology, chemistry, just kind of combination of science, science, science courses. courses. 
do you think we should adopt this in Nigeria? Yeah, definitely. We have we have to. Oh, we have to. As in, we must. We must because do you know why? Why? Like uh, these people can't they think like I got eight credit and one pass, mm. and that pass was English. Mm. With which uh, which language did I use to write those examinations? So you are challenging them? No, yeah. Is it not English? Yeah, of course. I wrote it. I wrote my commas mm. with English. I got A one. I wrote my accounting in. Probably you and I failed English. So the, you you're saying that it's an iron. It's an iron. How did I how did I pass my commerce? What is the English are, language? What, what if they are considering the technical aspect of the language, not just the spoken language, the words that you so, can use to express so, so, so I the think, ideas you so, got. So, yeah. Okay, let's now let's now talk about you being in India or mm -hmm. going to India. Mm -hmm. You said that it was your mother who sponsored your education. Yeah. Uh, to, She's to the one who school. initiated it. Oh, but, who, yeah. who but initiated that, it? Yeah, there, there, so are a lot of people, it? there are a lot of people behind that. Oh, there are a lot of you people. might be even among oh, really? I I didn't fun, no, no, <laughs> I, I, no, no, I didn't fund anything. But no, but not only the funding, mm. but well wishes. Mm, I've course. tried a lot with their advices and uh, prayers, yeah, you sure. know. Because many shall come, but few will be chosen, yet only the fittest survive. It sounds like a quote yeah, from who? Yeah, yeah, from the military. Oh, people, yeah. yeah, I can see. A lot of people, we, we went, a lot of us, but few of us have made it. Oh. Some of them have absconded their opportunity. Mm. Some went into another issues, which I might not be talking here. Like, so, like, like, like crimes? Crimes. Yeah. Really? Let's, Is let's it true? Leave, like, yeah, let's like, leave, put it this way, yeah, crimes? Let's leave, let's leave, let's leave. <laughs> oh, no, we, we can... We can just unpack it and say that these kinds of crimes, this and that. Yeah, you know, some of uh, people when they get out to another atmosphere which they don't have people to, to mm. take a control over them, they can engage in some activities which is totally different. Like drug dealing? Drugs and oh. parties and, mm. and so many things. They wouldn't even have the chance to go to the school because you cannot go so high in the middle of the night and wake up seven and go to school. I don't think it's possible. So so did they, they choose one. So they dropped out? They dropped or they out. were forced out of the school? They dropped out like what willingly they because they, they don't have the you know there is difference between ability and willingness. Even if you have the ability and you don't have the willingness you can't make it. Mm. What matters most in this life is willingness. Mm. Because you can be able anytime you, you try, you know, you can be able, you can seek the knowledge. And, but if you are not willing, no matter how able you are, you cannot make it. So willingness is the most mm. important thing. Towards the end of the program, I would like to, ad I'd like you to advise mm -hmm. other young people, young mm -hmm. chaps who are currently there, mm -hmm. not just in India, but in any other country yeah. studying. Uh, to behave themselves well, your words of advice would mean a lot to them. But for now, you went to India. Mm -hmm. Why did you study what you studied? Business administration. Why not medicine? Well, why not? The main reason is that when I when I grew up in my house, I found out everybody in my house is a kind of a medical student, mm -hmm. medical personnel mm -hmm. from my father. Yeah down to yeah, my yeah, sisters all over my father is a medical health practitioner mm. my mother is an anesthetic nurse wow. you know my stepmother is a mm. HOD health in this, wow. you know Good. my sister is a medical doctor mm. my brother is a pharmacist mm. my elder sister is a medical lab technician wow. so everywhere i just i, I can just see my everywhere house science, can science, just see medicine. my house as a hospital wow because <laughs> it is even when yeah. every person got sick in my yeah in my area mm. they can diagnose mm. and the person to give the medicine yes, will right. also be there mm. so everybody is there mm. and i see that you got a pharmacist yeah. pharmacy in your house yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah, i just decided why let me not just choose another dimension mm. so in order to make a kind of portfolio mm -hmm. in the system so mm. i choose to be a kind of commercial student mm. So I can, right from secondary school, right from secondary, which school. affected your university, yes. but positively you can say yes. Okay, so you had to study business administration. I, Why didn't you choose economics or international trade or something? Why did you choose business administration? Because I just want to be like what influenced me most is being a manager. You know, oh, yeah. because since the moment mm. I heard it, like. Mm -hmm. uh, Manager is getting things done through others. That is simply the definition of my manager. And I say, okay, as, as lazy as I am, as I am, why wouldn't I coordinate the people who have the knowledge and the kind of abilities and I will take the credit? That's so, the manager. So That's you have the CEO. 
fashion. <laughs> you have this. You see, mm. like you, you can call yourself a manager because the guy on the camera mm. is the cameraman, you know, uh -huh. the person who is making the sound, you know. All of them, you combine them together and you brought us together. Mm. And at the end of the day, you might be the one to take the credit and you can post the show, you can, you know, and it is <laughs> yours. Yeah. But That's nobody knows there messy. are some people behind the camera <laughs> who are doing. We are doing, doing great, of yeah, yeah. Because they so, are all looking at so, us. So manager is just mm. something, yeah. It's just so. taking the credit out of people's knowledge. Mm. And, yeah. and so. it sounds unfair by the definition or from the definition you mentioned. You're using somebody's expertise and knowledge and uh, experiences. And at the, same, at the end of the day, you take the credit. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 it that sounds unfair. It's unfair, but that is one of the laws of what eight laws of power. Okay. If you want to be in power, you have to, there are some certain laws that you have to mm. abide by. You know, there is a law that says, mm -hmm. make people come to you, use bait if necessary. You know bait? Meaning, what does that B -E -E -B -A -I mm -hmm. so mean? B-A-I-T. Bait is the kind of, uh, kind of a meat, or I can mm -hmm. say something that you put on the hook. hook. All right, yes. You, you, when you yeah, to when the fish, fish for a fish, see, then it will fall. Okay. So you make people come to use bait if necessary, no matter how it so is. So in this case, use, use money? And bring, yes, you use people come to you. So now you value money. You, you have to value man. Okay, good. <laughs> well, we got a lot to discuss because you have these interesting <coughs> ideas and stuff in your head and you're willing to share with us. Okay, let's re restrict ourselves. You have to, to value, let me just add, you have to value man. Do you value poverty? Nobody can value poverty. What, you know the answer. So what is the what is the good thing? The, in, I can remember a guy. Well, <laughs> I can remember an American guy saying there is no nobility in poverty. I don't know whether you have ever watched it That's no I, nobility. I always used to tell to my friends like, uh, normalize luxury in your life. Mm -hmm. Because hardship is not an achievement. Oh, yeah, it is not. It's, it's, not, not. it's just a kind of can just give a history that you suffered, but it's not an achievement. Okay. Nobody has. But, but it's a stepping stone. It's a stepping stone. I say mm. it's a history. It's a stepping stone. It's everything you can say. Mm. But at least you are looking for the success, and that success is the thing that will make people mm. know that you suffer. But without the success, nobody will know the history that you suffer. Even a long way when suffering, you die. Nobody cares till you reach the success. Mm. It's the success that will give the idea that you suffer. So, so you in the process of hitting your target, achieving what you want to achieve. Mm -hmm. You ended up studying in India mm -hmm. and you ended up studying business administration mm -hmm. just to be a boss mm -hmm. of yourself, mm -hmm. having other people to work for you. Mm -hmm. Ooh, if you like mm -hmm. boss. Yeah, man. Okay, so, so you went into India, mm -hmm. lovely professional university, yeah. and you studied. How did you find it the first time you went? Did you find it the way you had been predicting it to be? No. Or you find found it entirely different? Yeah, well, I find it entirely different because the first time I woke up in the morning in the college because when our flight landed in Delhi, mm. then a person just came with a with a with a with a cardboard paper okay. came out. Then my name was written Munir Rahama mm. and Sagir. Other guys I couldn't okay. even remember mm. their names. We were just like seven of us. Mm. Then we were just like, let's follow this guy because he's holding a paper with that it's our name over there. The girl was like, no, I won't follow him because we don't know. The <laughs> idiot. We come all the way from Africa. How many hours? Yes, and we find like twenty hours. Even if he's man, even if he's a devil, I'm going to <laughs> because, because this devil comes to me like a friend because I, you see, yeah, uh, yeah. This the, that's the devil I mm. I know is better mm. than an angel. I don't know. You don't remember what people say? The devil I know is better than the angel. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So I said. Let us follow this guy. We follow him. We never knew the trip was so long. It's just seven hours wow. from Delhi. By train? Oh my God. By car from Delhi to Punjab. It is our school that sent him. Okay. That some of their students are coming from Nigeria. Seven of them. Mm -hmm. Our agency had already discussed with our school and they sent that. But that. he didn't explain anything to you. He never had because, oh, he, because, he, couldn't he, because he couldn't speak English. That's a big problem. And we couldn't speak Hindi at, at that, that time. time. Mm. When I asked him, yeah, like, yeah. Bai, because all I know is Baya, Baya. Mm. Baya where are we going? He will be telling like Agai, Agai. Agai, meaning? I was like, who is this Agai? Let's go and see Agai. <laughs> you are, you, you are thinking that Agai was I the man. Agai was the guy that we are going to go and meet. <laughs> Not knowing that Agai means coming through, coming, okay. coming. It is a continuous tense, like Ooh. we are coming. So it's like seven hours till from one. We reach there, I think, eleven in, mm. in the night. That's so, that's too much. Yeah. So I got a guy that I know whom I went to the school through him. Mm. I called his I, I borrowed the phone, I called him. Mm. Then he came out from the hostel at the back of the school. So in the morning when I entered the school, 
like I was like my school is lovely professional and when I had that word love mm. I thought the school is you know a romantic school it's so romantic uh-huh. like, we, are, we are the girls who are partying every day the way I used to see mm-hmm. Hindi movies and uh, you singing know, and dancing yeah singing and I thought that's how we so you thought that you were going to do I thought that I was going to do <laughs> <laughs> so, so but the story was different the story was different mm-hmm. it's different because the first time I wrote my because I went late mm. Like two, I think one or two weeks before the midterm examination. Wow. I think and it's even a week. And that you did I wrote, I, and I wrote the examination, my MT examination. What is MT examination? A midterm exam, okay, MT yeah. midterm examination. Mm-hmm. I uh, I passed only one subject out of seven. So you that, had that to carry is, over. That is, that is English. I passed only oh? English. You passed in English? Yes. Come on, let's because, because let's this, take it back. Yeah, you had been this failing yeah, in Nigeria, yeah. but when you went to India, yeah, you passed it. That that tells you Nigeria is not for you. <laughs> <laughs> so it's for who? For the Americans? <laughs> Nigeria is for the lucky person. Oh, it's just for the lucky person. <gasps> Your hard working and stuff like mm-hmm. that will not make you what you are in. Nigeria. You just have to have the faith. Mm-hmm. And so it's the only English that I passed. Even the commerce and mm-hmm. economics, I was just getting five out of fifty. Wow. I was like, can I do this thing? So, mm-hmm. so some of our friends, after the end time mm-hmm. exam, they can't make it. They have to leave the college and move to another university mm-hmm. in another city. But I went for the second mm-hmm. term, mm-hmm. Second, I, semester? Yeah, second semester, and I passed all. Mm-hmm. I failed one, so vice versa. Did you have carry over? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I, I have anything. Really? And it so carry how, over, how did, spill over, everything that you think a student suffered through being a student. How did it affect you? Having carry overs, how did it affect you? Uh, because I did not understand the system of the study. Mm-hmm. You know? mm-hmm. The way they used to, like, uh, the way they used to answer their okay. questions in an examination. Because if an Indian asks you, how can you kill a mosquito? <laughs> yes. You start off like a mosquito is a dangerous mm-hmm. animal. A mosquito, we have three types of mosquitoes. Mm-hmm. So, 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 mosquito, Anopheles mosquito, mm-hmm. this mosquito. And, and if you are going, and this mosquito is the mosquito that used to, uh, if it bites you, we have oh my malaria. God. No, you are going into unnecessary details. That is how they are. That's what they want? Yeah, and you give them, the, they are just asking you about mosquito. Mm-hmm. You have to give the types of mosquito, the definition of mosquito. How you can prevent yourself mm-hmm. from mosquito, and if you are going to kill mosquito, either you use a net, mm-hmm. either you. But if you, I use a net, it's just like I'm afraid of the mosquito. Okay. I'm running away. So the best method is to run, uh, you know, mm-hmm. to slap the mosquito and okay. just kill him. Okay. You know, so that is. So that's what they we want. Bulky stuff. Oh. Our booklet is 34 pages. Of you are you kidding me? Pages, yes. The first 34 the pages. first time when I was given 34 pages in my end term examination. Mm-hmm. Like, I was like, what the hell am I going to write? I think if I'm going to mm. give my biography, I can't even feel this because my biography did not mm. list that pages. <laughs> but I see a girl beside me, mm-hmm. she was just busy writing. Was this. she Indian or African? She's an Indian. Mm-hmm. She's an Indian and some Nepali mm-hmm. people. Because okay, that time, from Nepal. I, I think Katamandu. she's from Nepal, yes. Mm-hmm. Because, but at that time, I can't understand who is Nepali, who is Indian, who is Bengali. No, they look alike. They look all the they same. Alike, but now I can understand. If Apparently, I see Bengali, I can say this Bengali. If I see Nepali, I can tell this Nepali. And if you see Gujarati, you can. I can see this Gujarati where the type of is dressed. Good. So, so and and she was just writing. She, she turned up the last page and she was like, "Sir, was extra just, sheet, extra sheet, did Come on. No, her, can you copy? Her? Can you imitate her accent? She How did like, she do? Extra <laughs> sheet, uh, extra sheet, did it? Ah. Like, ah, who is this, did it? <laughs> you are also looking for another DD, yeah. another person. Yeah, the name DD. Because every everything they said at that moment, I was thinking it's a person. Oh. They gave her an extra an extra sheet of mm. like seven to eight weeks. Wow. Ten. And she made up. And I did not reach more than eight pages. That is how I finished my exams. Wow. So I find it so mm. difficult till I found a friend from mm. Nepal. Mm. That's the guy that taught me how to the, the process, how the, the process. system works. The system works, yes. So, so right, that, right, then I catch up. And, mm. So, and are you saying know. that most of our students face problems simply because they lose guidance? They don't have guidance. Definitely. Definitely. Where should they get the guidance from? Yeah. So, the moment when we were there, you see, in my class, I'm the only Nigerian. Oh. If I just zip my mouth from home, from my hostel, mm. 
I, I'm not going to be speaking Hausa anymore because I don't have any Hausa nigger in my mm. in, any Hausa nigger in, your, in, my, in my class. He said nigger. Repeat in the word. Problem. We are Africans. We can say it, but we don't take it from the Americans. Because <laughs> <laughs> they say niggas to you, yeah. you find it offensive. You find it offensive, but mm-hmm. we niggas we call ourselves niggas. Okay, because good. we are we are black people. Mm-hmm. No, we will have that we argument. Unapologetic, <laughs> <laughs> unapologetically black. Yeah, right. oh, we will have this argument about culture and being black, something like that. Yeah, that will I be think later. That will be another. Uh, no, no, that will be later before okay. the end of the program. But for now, sticking to to your experiences in India, yeah. what more would you share share with us about the other experiences that you learned in your stay at Lovely University? Well, the most experience I can say is the the thing that I that I appreciate more being there is like my interaction with different people from wow. different part of the world. Great, great. Because. Now I can see, I can hear, mm. even if I cannot respond, mm. I can hear more than 30 languages and above. No, I'm telling you, are you not? Kidding? I say, even if I can't respond, but you can understand. Definitely, like, if Zambians are in this mm. room, they are discussing, I'm outside, I can tell you the Zambians are speaking Bemba in this. Room. Bemba is their language. language, and if they are speaking Nyanja, I can tell you Zambians are here speaking Nyanja. How did you learn? And if this? Tanzanians are there, Kenyans, I will tell you, this is the Kenyans from Tanzania, yeah. and this is a Kenyan from, uh, this is a, uh, this is a K- Swahili mm. from Kenya, and this is a Swahili from Tanzania. It is a Tanzanian speaking this Swahili here, and it is the Kenyan speaking their own Swahili there. So because there are some. The dialects, yeah, the accents different. are different. Like Tanzanian will tell you Mambo, how are you? Zambians will be like Jambo. What is Mambo? What is Jambo? How are you? Okay. It will be like Jambo Buana. Mm. How are you, friend? Okay. Or oh, how are you? Mm. You is Buana. Okay. And Tanzania will be Mambo Wewe. Mm. You Wewe means you in okay. Tanzania and Buana in Kenya. But it's still the same Jambu, Mambu, Swahili language. Same Swahili. And even some Swahili by Ugandans. Mm. Oh, because Ugandans yeah. also East speak Africa. Swahili. Mm. Yeah, because there is a border between Tanzania and Uganda from a city called Bukoba. Bukoba. That is the that is the city to Uganda. Mm. Okay. Because if Ugandan will tell you, let's go, in Swahili will be Tugende. Okay. Tugende, let's go, and if it is Tanzania, it will be Tuende. Okay. So I can understand. So if how Afghan is speaking Pashto, I can mm. say this Afghan is speaking Pashto, this Afghan is speaking Persian, mm. this is Kenya, Rwanda, this is people from Burundi speaking their own language, you know? So how, how, Somali. I'm curious, how did you learn all these stuff? Time. Time, yeah, because there is something we used to say in, is in, in Hindi that if you want to learn a, a, anything, then everything is possible. Okay, that so, is what I told to one of my teacher mm-hmm. because I've not been attending to her class. Anytime I will come late and she will chase me out. Oh, she'll be like five minutes, you are out, you don't have to stay. Only five minutes, only five not minutes. one hour, mm-hmm. five minutes late, you go out. A Nigerian student can be one hour, I mean, can be one hour, 30 minutes late. And then, if you are just trying to be a Nigerian, you shouldn't go to India because if you are in India, you're supposed to act like Indians because that's not Nigeria. So, Indians value time, they value time. Mm-hmm. Or oh, I can say they value money or they value their profession. Okay. Yeah. They don't they, jump. They, they value their profession. So Strictly. what happened between you and that lecturer? Yeah. Because, you failed uh, your course? Yeah. So, and I used to go back home and I study a lot about her. Mm. Indo- she's mm. teaching us industrial psychology. Mm. Yeah. She's teaching us industrial psychology. So uh, I stopped, uh, I stopped uh, making tutorials of any mm course more than industrial psychology. Oh, so, so when I came after her exam, I became the second wow. person. After the first person, I was the second. Good. She Good. removed my paper. She called me out. She was like, she wanted me to address the people. How did I make it? Wow. Great. I tell her like, I made it because I just, my mind told me that they don't like me. What? So I just did it to, in order to, to surprise you. And she was like, how? I tell her that. Then I speak this Hindi. Yeah. I tell her like, I got to so that you, I tell her like, Hindi, Hindi me, mm-hmm. Hindi logo no kheta hai. Agar tum sudarna chahte ho, to sab kuch ho sakta hai. She was like, wow. Meaning? She was like, yes, clap. She was like, if, like, if you want time. to mm-hmm. learn a- anything, there is nothing which is impossible mm-hmm. in this life. She was like, so you people should clap. To What's her name? Guys, you know? Nabdeep Kaur. Wow, that's great. <laughs> so let's begin because you know, we got like five yeah. minutes to go. Okay. Travels. How many places have you tra- did you travel to? I travel a lot and I don't think I uh, I can memorize it all but let me just start off with uh, some of them. I've been in Amritsar, that's the Golden Temple. 
-hmm. It is a sacred place for the sick people. Okay. This is, I think where they perform their prayers like a pilgrimage. Okay. If you are a sick, mm -hmm. if you are if you believe in sick religion, wherever you are in the world, you have to come to Amrista. Okay. That is in Punjab. So in Punjab. Yeah. So Amrista, did you temple. enter the temple? Yeah. So um, many times, I think if it was, you, if it you was, took if pictures. It was, if it's a pilgrimage, I have be like seven times al Haji because. <laughs> I went, <laughs> oh, that's a pro. That's problematic. You you just entered where they worship. Yeah. Didn't they uh, uh, chase like you out? Seven, no, no, no. They don't have. That. They didn't even know you because probably you dressed like that. You have no. You don't need to dress, but when going, you have to take uh, some kind of veil and tie your hair. Did you do cover. that? I do. I have to accept that. I have to respect their religion and their customs. Even norms. though you don't believe in that. Yes. Okay. Good. Yeah. So I've been there. I've been to Rishikesh. Mm -hmm. I've been to Haridwar, where it's a sacred place for the Hindu people mm -hmm. as well. Is it where Shiva is? Yeah. Oh, Rama. I went to Lakshmanjula. It is a temple of uh, God Lakshman. Mm -hmm. You understand? It is. Uh, it is a bridge on top of a river. Wow. That's so amazing mm -hmm. over there. I went there. I've been into Mumbai. Mm -hmm. I've been oh, Mumbai, the home of Bollywood. Yeah, man. I've been there. Mm -hmm. So I've been into Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal. When Come on, it's India, also in Mumbai. Yeah, when yeah. In India, no, it's in Agra. No, when no, in no, India, Mumbai. Taj is a place you must go. Okay. Yeah, Agra. If somebody goes to India without visiting Taj, then mm -hmm. it's he like as if he, he goes to China without visiting the Great Wall. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, because it's one of mm. the seven wonders of the world. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I've been there, been to Delhi. Delhi is just a place where we used to go okay. every time because that is a center where there is a kind of uh, medical center, oh. hospitals. If you didn't go for market, you can go for hospital to visit someone. You can go for friends. You can go for mm. parties. So. T tell me about Bollywood. Are you interested in Bollywood? Are you a fan of Bollywood? Well, before, but this time yeah. around, I don't think I can say I am a really? fan of Bollywood. But when you were in India, when you, I was, when I was, you a fan? No, when I was so young, I watched Indian movies because I watched because my mother is watching. Yeah. But when I grew up, I couldn't find it interesting in my own mind. Yeah. So I don't think I'm too interested in it because I've never been watching Hindi mm -hmm. movies. Even though I can speak Hindi very much, but people will think I can speak Hindi because I'm watching mm -hmm. or I improve by watching mm -hmm. Indian movies. But I spent my six years in India, I just watched two movies. But there was a time when Arjit Singh was it Arjit Singh the the guy who the, the singer the, musician yeah the musician yeah. who sang most of the songs from Ashiki yeah, yeah. too that was 2013 when you were there yeah, yeah. he went to your school right yeah he had a show yeah what did you attend Shah Rukh Khan was there also okay. the, the second a day when I came mm. that day Shah Rukh Khan was there that's after after this uh, I film was I was dealing Chennai Express Chennai Express of yes, course they yeah. even show up some mm. things like Chennai Express. so did you see him. Yeah, I couldn't see him because I was dealing with my admission. Okay, yeah. So, so and you didn't admission. care that like you missed seeing the yeah. king of Bollywood? I have to start with my own, like, the purpose. The that that the makes other. you, yeah, somebody who's not a fan of Bollywood. Yeah. Yeah. Finally, before I, before we wrap up the show, we're running out of time. Mm -hmm. um, tell me the places that you visited, which you will never forget. Probably because something nice happened to you, mm. or you had a nice time, nice experiences, mm. or something terrible, awful happened to you. Tell me the places. Well, the best place I can say that I wouldn't forget in my life is Rishikesh. Mm -hmm. It is a place in a city called uh, Uttarakhand, Uttar called the state UK, Uttarakhand. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So is it in Uttar Pradesh state? No, no. state? Uttar Pradesh is different. Okay. And Uttarakhand. Uttarakhand is also in the Himalayans okay. side, you know. You can see that photo, right? Yeah. That is just how the place is. <laughs> it looks nice and beautiful. Yes, it looks paradise. Wow. It looks paradise because mm. the, the, the city is all covered by hills and mountains. Yeah. You understand? And the people live in the middle of the mountains wow. and a river. And there is a river crossing. Yeah, yeah crossing. Yeah. And we used to go for the river rafting wow. as well. Yeah. You know, paddling. Good. Yeah. So Thank God you, you have just explained. Uh, and, in the the and in the night, we can have a tent, mm -hmm. like a bonfire oh, over there. Oh. You know, Good. we went there with us. So with our colleagues, the mm -hmm. girls, and uh, even our teachers, because that time I don't know our teachers we became like friends when we were oh, going for a trip. We became friends. You can see a teacher. On, you can see a teacher on a bone shot. You can see a teacher on a short nika oh. chatting with his with his friends. We think we are just colleagues. You wow, know? but in school mm -hmm. it's something different. Okay, and we went for our own chilling of our minds mm. something different. Oh, that's so good. We have a bonfire in mm. the night, and someone will be playing guitars. Mm -hmm. You know. 
and it is okay for other people to mm. drink because it's not violate their rules. So we'll be drinking mm. there and the people will be music, mm. the girls will be singing, the mm. boys will be playing the guitar. So that man is wow. something different. So you I would like you to be there sometime. Oh my God. Yeah, because that sounds yeah, yeah, that sounds interesting. But I don't know if you are I'm Ustaz, I cannot do that. That's what I say. I don't know. But, 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 but don't kill yourself being an Ustaz. Sometimes you need to chill on your limit. Come on though, no, there are things that are no, it's okay. Come it's on, okay. Like, like, yeah. we're Muslims, we have to. I know you, you two did not do some of that. I said drinking did yeah. not violate their yeah. culture, yeah. so they can drink. Mm -hmm. But you can say I can sing. Oh yeah, no, okay. We, we, we will talk about that definitely. Yeah. We we are going to have a second episode with you, inshallah. Mm -hmm. and we, we'll be talking a lot about India and other uh, things related to that. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much indeed, Patu uh, Ranki, well for being there. Much. Yeah, you gotta tell me in the next episode the meaning of Patoranki. Well, that's <laughs> the end of the first episode I've had yeah. with with Muner Ali Muner, popularly known at Dandogo as Abakati, and but on social media and among his friends as Patoranki. Thank you. Uh, on behalf of everyone that has contributed to this to the production of this episode and the big boss Zainab Abdurrahman my agaw gaw I am Omar Isa and we go saying goodbye and have a wonderful day ahead <laughs>